Hey guys, it's Tim. I want to do a video on my Crusader. Those of you who have stopped by the stream have probably noticed that I'm playing my Crusader a little bit more. My Demon Hunter kind of winding down as I approach Paragon level 400. Um, I want to be able to get another character up into Torment 6, uh, you know, be able to do that pretty efficiently. The Crusader may be the one to do that on. Um, I've had terrible luck with the Akan set. I have like one, one uh, pair of the Akan's armor at like 90 hours. It's it's pretty sad, but regardless, um, I, I've been playing my Crusader quite a bit more, but I've kind of been struggling. Um, the Blessed Shield build is fantastic. It's awesome. Everyone loves it. Everyone knows how good it is. Uh, you get the Gear Falcon foot. You get the the Jank board. You put those two things on, and you start to just chuck shields around, and stuff dies. Cool. I don't have the Gear Falcon foot, so I can't do that. I can still do a Blessed Shield build. If you watch some of my daily riffs, you'll see that I do still run a Blessed Shield build from time to time. Um, but I wanted to do something else. The thing I love about the Crusader is the variety of skills that you can use that are actually good. Um, like the Demon Hunter, you're kind of like, you're, you like you kind of have to use certain skills if you want to do higher torment levels. You have to use a cluster arrow because that's the best damaging things and you've got to put out some serious damage. And so um, there's not a lot of variety with the Demon Hunter build. I mean, just watch any streams on Twitch or any videos. Like, like probably, I don't know, four out of the six skill slots are probably the exact same thing on all Demon Hunters. Crusader's different, and that's what I like about the Crusader. Uh, the the skill setup on our Crusaders or on Crusaders are going to vary wildly, and that's what I really like. So um, the perfect class for me to experiment with. I set out to put together a build that wasn't based on what anyone else, you know, was running or what based on some proven Torment 6 build or anything like that. Uh, the fire build for Crusader is amazing, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do my own thing. Um, so what I set out to do is I set out to try all the secondary abilities. I wanted to find something that was going to be effective at killing on high, high Torment levels, and this is going to be the starting point. Um, I started with Shield Bash. Tried to make that work doesn't work very well. I'm very, very unimpressed with Shield Bash. The problem that I, I see with it is you put a lot of time and you put a lot of resource into doing one Shield Bash. And when you do that one Shield Bash, if you crit, it does a lot of damage. It's great. It's really cool. If you don't crit, you waste the time and resources. It's like really lackluster if you don't crit. So um, I did not really like that very much. Like you could do it but it was really slow, not very effective. I was not impressed. Sweep attack. I like sweep attack. However, the damage on sweep attack is not not what I want it to be. And in Torment 3, I was using it. It was fine. Torment 4, it just was not going fast enough at all. Um, again, kind of lackluster there. Blessed Shield, we know is awesome. Fist of the Heavens, we know is awesome. So comes down to Blessed Hammer. Can I make Blessed Hammer work? Well, benefits to Blessed Hammer. Oh, first let's talk about the downside to Blessed Hammer. Downside is the damage. It does not do a ton of damage. 320% from a Wrath Spender is not significant. So the benefit to the Blessed Hammer build has got to be something else. The benefit that is built in here is that it's really cheap. You put in some resource cost reduction, something like that, and you are spamming Blessed Hammer's, uh, you know, endlessly basically and so then the damage output on a single blessed hammer is not such a big deal because there's so many of them right so can kind of pair it up to the uh, demon hunters cluster arrow you can only do a few cluster arrows on a demon hunter but it does huge damage well blessed hammer works the opposite way it's not it's not huge damage per bl blessed hammer but it is really cheap so you can do a lot of them so i needed to find a way that i could take advantage of that and get myself maybe up to Torment 6. I'm not convinced this is a Torment 6 build, mind you, but uh, I have run through Torment 5, and it was decently effective, so I, I consider this build a success. Let me show you how I did it. Blessed Hammer with Limitless. First, let's actually take a look at the gear. I run really high toughness. I don't know how. I have no idea how my Crusader has such huge toughness. I, like, they just do. That's what's really cool about them, right? Especially at the higher Torment levels. Um... I'm actually using Justine's Mercy. I've tried a lot of different weapons here. I tried even using the Blade of Prophecy and using Condemn. Um, it was it was good, but uh, it wasn't what I was going for. I ended up using Justine's Mercy because it has that Dominion Rune on it, which is actually perfect 
for what we're going to be trying to do here. Um, on top of that, I just stacked up a bunch of holy damage, holy skills. Now, you can, oh, oh, that is not the right amulet. Um, so you can actually use different um, plus skills if you want. You would just end up using a different blessed hammer. I'm using limitless. If you had cold damage, you could use an icebound hammer. If you had lightning, I would like to try the lightning one, but I just don't have the lightning gear for it. Uh, or if you had fire, that may actually be best. Anyways, um, that's my gear. I use the shears, three piece. I use, well, just because I don't have anything better, black thorns. I mean, really nothing very exciting. The best thing on here is the Harrison Waste Guard which I think is really essential if you're doing Torment 5 and Torment 6. So if you have a Harrington Waste Guard sitting in your stash, put it on your character, you're going to thank me, okay? Um, also the All Guild set there, so really it's kind of a Ring of Royal Grandeur item build. But as you can see, nothing really special about my gear. That's the thing I like about this build, is I find it to be very effective Torment 4, pretty effective Torment 5, if I get better gear, I can see myself moving possibly into Torment 6. I don't know yet. I got my fingers crossed. Anyways, um, that those are the items. Nothing special. So uh, if you have the Akan set, I can only imagine it's going to get better. So on to the skills. Blessed Hammer, obviously. I'm using Limitless, but again, because of all the holy damage. It does actually help to increase some of the damage output, too, because you get ev even more Blessed Hammers out there. Justice with Crack. The reason that I'm using Justice, well, I mean, the Crack rune is obvious because it is holy damage then, and again, I'm stacking holy skill damage. I'm using Justice because Blunt. Blunt is the passive which increases Blessed Hammer and Justice damage by 20%. I might as well take advantage of that extra 20% damage, otherwise it's just going to be wasted on the Justice. Um, I'm using Phalanx with Bowman, and I'll explain why in just a second. Laws of Valor with Answered Prayer. Yeah. I haven't, seen anyone else, I haven't seen anyone else use this yet. I think it's actually really cool for this build specifically, and again, I'll explain why once we get into the actual play of the build. I'm using Akrat's Champion Fire Starter. It's freaking ridiculous how much damage this thing does when you pop this and you have tons of hammers out there. Um, provoke with Cleanse, and this is something that I started to have to use in Torment 5 for survivability. Before, if, if I was doing a lower Torment level, I was using Charged Up, um, that was that's probably going to be the best one if you're doing a lower torment level and you're not having survivability issues. The reason I'm using provoke though is because of that extra wrath. The the build is going to revolve around being able to continuously pump out blessed hammers. As soon as you run low on wrath, you need to have that provoke ready uh, in order to get your wrath back up there. So it's very very effective. The other nice thing about it um, is that you get that extra bonus little. Uh, little thing from the actual rune. So with this one, it uh, adds on some life on hit. Doesn't seem very significant. It's usually just enough. It is surprising how much life you actually gain when you have like a billion blessed hammers out there hitting things. So anyways, that's why I'm using Provoke. Um, passives. Passives really revolve around damage. Um, survivability comes from life on hit. Um, and damage needs to come from everything else then. I'm using Finery because it's a huge damage boost. Blunt from the 20%, really nice. Holy Cause for two reasons. The damage boost and that life on hit. Whenever you heal, deal holy damage, you heal 1% of your total life. That is actually really significant when you pump out as many Blessed Hammers as, as this build does. Now, Fervor. Fervor, what they changed in Fervor is amazing. I get to take advantage of Justinian's Mercy, the flail that I'm using for the Dominion rune, and I get to use Fervor. Increase my attack speed, hugely important in this build. You have to be able to pump out Blessed Hammers really fast. 50% uh, bonus attack speed is huge. And all cooldowns are reduced by 15%. That's why I'm using Bowman Phalanx too. I have about 36% cooldown reduction built into my gear right now. You probably have more, so it'll be even better. And so I can keep Bowman out almost constantly almost the other really cool thing with having that much reduced cooldown is laws of valor with answered prayer i can keep this up almost 100 percent of the time if you have a little bit more cooldown reduction than i do which is pretty easy to do you can probably keep this thing up 100 percent of the time i have experimented by the way with using long arm of the law it makes it easily 100 percent uptime easily so feel free to use it if you want to reason i'm not is there is a little bit of overlap um, it, there is a, a few seconds of wasted um, Laws of Valor. And so eh, I, I'd rather have like a second or two without Laws of Valor than waste an extra four seconds, 
you know, of Laws of Valor. So, anyways, that's the general build. Paragon points. Um, max movement speed at 25%, obviously. Put some into strength um, for the damage. I'm actually using cooldown reduction because it is really important to be able to, you know, keep provoking as needed. Um, the Laws of Valor Answered Prayers is really important to be able to keep up as much as possible, so the cooldown reduction really helps with that. And the attack speed, because I cannot stress enough, the build works because you pump out so many blessed hammers so fast. The only way you do that is by having really good attack speed. I don't even have amazing attack speed, but I have good enough that the build works. Defense. Resist all. Life percent. Those are just the best for my toughness. Um, resource cost reduction. Helps me pump out a lot of... I mean, it, it's uh, Blessed Hammers 10 Wrath. So you could argue, and in fact, I might even try this tonight if you stop by the stream, um, dropping resource cost reduction, putting it into area damage, that may actually be a better route to go. But the life on hit is actually really nice too, because again, you pump out a lot of blessed hammers. So general build, you just run in there, you just spam a bunch of blessed hammers. The really fun thing to do is uh, when you come up on an elite pack or a couple of elite packs, I mean, I've taken on multiple Elite Packs in Torment 5 with this build, with this gear, no less, um, by just running in there, hitting 1, 2, 3, spamming, like, tons and tons of Blessed Hammers. As soon as my Wrath goes down a little bit, I pop Provoke, and uh, suddenly, like, I'm gaining a lot of life, too, but I just keep spamming Blessed Hammers. Um, I'm going to actually play a couple of, of combat clips from the stream last night, so you can see just how this build works. Anyways, guys, um, tell me what you think of the build. Give it a shot. If you have any recommendations, I'm more than willing to, you know, try out some new stuff. Um, some people in the stream last night were making some recommendations that were actually working out pretty well. For example, uh, the Provoke with Charged Up is actually really quite, you know, decent with as many Blessed Hammers as you have out there um, on lower Torment levels. But, again, I moved to Cleanse because of the survivability. But uh, anyways, guys, there, there you have it. Um, I am really looking forward to getting better gear on my Crusader to see just how this build performs. It's performed beyond my expectations up to this point. And once I get some better gear, I'm really looking forward to seeing just what I can do with it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Here come some clips of some actual combat with this. And have a good night. Frenzy Shrine. Pop it all! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, 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 ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> that damn arcane, man. Like, the arcane started to, like, pop up. I'm like, eh, whatevs. I'll just stand right here, man. I'll just stand right here. I'm pro. My wrath is low. <coughs> Not enough wrath. Burn in the light. Burn in the light! Burn in the light! Yeah, plowing through the normal monsters here really quite easily. A great big bushy beard! Hey, thanks, Merlin.
Ooh, 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 ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I gotta look out for that, uh, reflect damage, apparently. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Here's where I die. No. Health globe, health globe. Oh, healing well, thank you. I want that loose stone. Give me the loose stone. I'm fading. Not yet. Oh, there's actually two elite packs. So when when I survive this, that means that I did pretty decent on this build so far. Two Torment 5 uh, Elite Packs at the same time. I'll consider that uh, pretty decent. 